Good morning, everybody. Uh, one of the most common questions I get is, what is RPNI, and how did that help me out as an amputee? RPNI is what's called regenerative peripheral nerve interface, and it's a way of treating the nerves during an amputation to prevent uh, phantom pain and nerve pain in your limb as you recover from your amputation. Now, on this crude little computer program, hopefully you can follow the mouse here. Uh, this is a simplified drawing of the right leg, front version or front view and rear view of the right leg. And imagine we're partway through the amputation here. So we still have the foot, but it's been already removed from the limb. Now, during the amputation, they have to cut the major nerves. And that can lead to a problem because when you cut those nerves, it's basically like cutting a live wire. Your brain always wants to be sending and receiving signals through these nerve pathways. And one of the biggest problems with amputees is phantom pain over their missing foot or nerve pain inside the stump, what's left of their limb after surgery. Now, one of the reasons for that is what's called the growth, like neuromas. Neuromas are basically the regrowth into a ball of those, those cut nerves. This can cause tremendous pain, uh, nerve pain, in the amputated limb. Um, as a way of eliminating that in my surgery, they used this technique called RPNI. And what they did, they took a graft of muscle from the amputated leg and they sutured that graft onto the superficial perineal, the deep perineal, and the tibial nerves. Then what they did, they took a skin graft and they took that small skin graft and sutured that onto the superficial perineal, the deep perineal, the tibial, and the sural nerve. For some reason, the sural nerve, they only did a skin graft. Now, in my case, the saphenous nerve, they didn't do anything with because of, I guess, its proximity to the saphenous vein. So my understanding that this nerve has just been uh, cut further back and tucked away somewhere safe to prevent um, nerve pain in that area. Now, over the process of a couple weeks, I'm going to try to zoom in here, the cut nerves... grew in to the little grafts of skin and muscle and gave them a happy little ending, basically acting like a proper electrical crimp on a circuit. Um, this has done two things. Uh, I, have, I have good sensitivity in my limb, but I don't have nerve pain. Also, when I wear my prosthetic leg, I get really good feedback from that leg. And the way that's interpreted by my brain, it's almost like my prosthetic leg has, is, has become a piece of me. I can feel, when I walk in my prosthetic leg, I can feel my toes, my heel, I can feel everything. It feels really natural. Um... I'm not sure how that compares to a traditional amputation, but for me, it's, it's really helped my recovery. And this growth process here only took about two to three weeks. Um, and it, I think around week six, basically, they, they figured that that growth was complete. Um, anyways, that is the quick version of RPNI. Um, hope that answers your question and hope it helps you out. Take care.